This is the modern vibes on Vibes Radio. You know, I love innovation, and that's yeah. why we have uh, on my grind. And we've got two gentlemen in studio who are about to talk to us about uh, an, a, a very amazing platform. I'm not going to say much about it. We're going to learn together. And it's about uh, basically, uh, it analyzes infant parameters during postnatal screening. And serves as an early warning intervention system. As in, basically, I say, "Wanataka kongelem tu yuwa kondani atumbo." When you get, as in, you know, because you know when you're pregnant, sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know, Kevin. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chapai. You're sounding like an expert. <laughs> Sheila. So here's the thing. I think I can say more about the pregnancy because I've been pregnant before. Oh yeah. yeah. So here's the thing. Yeah. With no, expectation, Amma. No, you know, by the way, when you're expecting a child, even mm. the dude's pregnant. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. just a lady. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, ideally, mm. you want to know if the child is safe. Yeah. You know, the fetus. Mm. Yeah. And you also want to know if the mother is safe. Mm-hmm. And then you want to know the sex yeah. of the baby. Can I say something weird? Mm-hmm. When I was a kid, I used to wonder, like, why would they name the kid? I used to think when we were in the belly, we were all yeah. in the feet. Yeah. Because why were we called fetus? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then, yeah, and then, you know, I grew up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank God you grew up. Recently, it was just oh, last year, I found out. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, as you're consuming this, uh, before we get into the interview, remember, you can consume our content on the go. Yeah, easily, yeah. Let's just uh, send uh, the letters MVP to 22840. And just like that, to tapata content. Fiti sana. Very informative, fun, and inspiring. You can share it with your friends and your family. And don't forget, mm. it is MVP to 22840. Yeah, man. It's as simple as that. Now, let me introduce to you our very special guest. Now, these guys are definitely innovators. And if you're planning to just move far from your radio, I say carry the radio because you can't miss this conversation. We've got... Are you ready? Are Very you ready, ready. Are you ready? Let's go. To my left, we have Jit Vilish Gohil. Hi, everyone. Uh, good stuff. <laughs> Love it. And on the my right, on oh no, did I say right, left? Yeah, left, right, left. This is your we left. We have Abdi Hamid Ali Abdi. Hi, everyone. Karibu sana, morning vibes. Yes, yeah, thank you so much. So, tell us about Reweba. Am I saying it right, or is it Reba? Reweba. Reweba. Rem- and it's uh, like a short term for remote well baby. Uh huh. Yep. Remote nice. well baby. Yep. Uh huh. So we are the co-founders here. So we are three. Mm-hmm. So my name is Hamid Ali, as yeah. she has mentioned. Yeah. We have G here, uh-huh. and then there's Kushia Gupta who joins us today. Okay. Well, she's part of the team. Right. She couldn't make it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how did you guys meet? Actually, we we studied together. We we used to study together because we just graduated mm-hmm. from the United States International University. <laughs> I like that. So that's where we met. We became friends, and that's how it all started. I see. So you know she's also good things happen when you go to your side. Wow. What's good? You guys but are like let's, you know, let's high five uh, social distance. That's too. how you do it. So we're gonna be speaking about uh Rueba and how this particular home personal home care kit for pregnant mothers is changing how um pregnancies are let me not say happening because they are still happening. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Modern Vibes on Vibes Radio. Abdi Hamid and Jeet, uh, co-founders, uh, actually, of th- your three founders, right? Yeah. And uh, they set up this amazing uh, personal home care kit for pregnant mothers to be looking at the conditions from home. Now, it's very interesting that you mentioned that because um, I was reading a study that was saying that uh, Kenyans are, st- there's a lot of stunted yeah, growth, yeah. which means Maybe. Kenyans are actually no, even gro- like grown ups, right? Our, our height is really going down, really. <laughs> yes, what? And you know, um, s- uh, like for example, in places like India, it's because yeah. of malnutrition, mm-hmm. you're not eating the right things. So, you find that the average height of an Indian, you know, compared to back in the day, is like really short, yeah, right? Yeah. Guys are growing five, 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 and that's the tallest because I've always imagined humans <laughs> of uh, of this era growing taller, healthier, stronger. Yeah, better well, looking. It, yeah, okay. I, well, I don't argue with better looking, but I don't know about stronger and uh, yeah. taller. But you see, this all boils down to you have to look at the the health of the baby mm. to avoid some of these things. Yeah. So tell us a bit about your machine. Okay, so we created an IoT device mm-hmm. that basically monitors the growth of a baby. Mm. So growth can be monitored uh, at at minimum mm. from birth to 12 months. So this basically gives the mother an idea or even the doctors on how the baby is growing. You know, most diseases occur 
uh, in the first years of, of birth. Mm. So yeah, yeah. We, we want to really prevent some of these yeah. problems five that years. are related to growth. Yeah. So for example, if, if the baby is five months and his weight is really low, mm -hmm. we can get to know as early as possible. And one of the biggest problems that we found out in Kenya is that in rural areas, mm. there's some where, where mothers live is is actually quite far from where they the go clinic. and screen yes. the baby. Yeah. Yeah. So walking a long distance while being a bit, you know, you, you're not that rich, so you cannot use a car or yeah. you can't use a piki piki. Mm. You want to take your baby, you also have your work. Let's mm. say you're a mamamboga, mm. you have to go and sell your, your fruits, your vegetables. You also have to take your baby to be screened and you can only do one thing at a time. Yeah. So imagine a mother leaving a day's job of selling her fruits would, would cost her a lot of money. So what we decided is to bring the device to the mothers mm. where these things can be even done at home yeah. and, and this data that we are taking, let's say the height, weight, temperature, mm. Mm. the skin conditions which can be either. So imagine your baby uh, gets eczema or yeah. measles or chicken pox. Yeah. We can easily identify such types of diseases using a, a camera mm. and once the picture is taken we have AI models that really identify what exactly the problem is wow. and once all this data has been aggregated it mm -hmm. is analyzed and some alerts are sent to mothers through an SMS and SMS can be in any phone not only a smartphone you can have a kabambe you'll still get an SMS mm. yeah. showing how your baby is progressing mm. so this really helps uh, reduce the infant mortality rate especially yeah. in the rural areas because yeah. if you see Nairobi there are quite a few uh, health facilities yeah, where you yeah. can take your baby to be screened but in the rural areas people don't have that 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 advantage yeah. the way we have so that's what we are trying to solve i love oh, no. it Reweba. um then. how did you the, the talk to us about how the device works like the the nitty gritties so okay just okay so what happens is it's it's a it's a step-by-step -step process mm -hmm. where first the the the, the weight is taken mm -hmm. the height is taken the mm -hmm. temperature is taken the the, the 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 image of skin conditions is mm -hmm. taken mm -hmm. so all this data is taken uh, within like it can only takes two minutes yeah. to to take all this data mm -hmm. so once it's done all this data will just go to our system mm -hmm. analyze it then a lot are generated nice yeah. nice now the system the where the data is who's analyzing the system uh, this it, data? it's automatic uh -huh. we have mm. generated algorithms to analyze this data mm. based on uh, world health organization requirements mm. so world health organization gives us um a threshold on how babies should be growing so let's mm. say a five month baby a boy should be this much weight mm -hmm. and a girl should be this much weight mm -hmm. but if our system identifies that there are some anomalies mm -hmm. then it will really generate uh, an alert and i didn't uh, and 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 talk to the doctors about it yeah or it will just send an alert to the mother Hey, interesting. It's a brilliant idea. You know, by the way, I'm curious, Yanni, um, uh, because you guys mentioned your alumni of USA, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, you studied IT or what? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So, how did you come up with this, uh, this idea? Why did you decide on this specific uh, technology? I mean, and then uh, that problem, how did you discover that, you know, there's a, there's a problem for, okay. for data, especially for mothers when it comes to infants? Okay, so all of us were doing a common service and in a hospital and then we saw uh, the, the problem mothers go through mm -hmm. and how hard is it for them to just even find screening you know you can imagine a mother who who works in there who works as a housemaid just imagine how, how many hoops she has to go through just to skin a baby i know so we, we saw this problem and we did some research and we realized the problem was really huge mm -hmm. and we decided to take action so what we did was we, we developed the product and it took us around two years to do that so the good thing with the product is not only it, and it helps for example let's say in, a, in an area let's say in Nairobi yeah. let's say in Kibera there's a surge it will notify the government before it's too late that there's a, mm. there's a surge in a specific spot yes. so for example if, if there's a the babies are, they, their height is really low compared to the rest of the babies in the country mm -hmm. yeah. the government or other stakeholders like UNICEF yeah. WHO mm -hmm. can come in and rectify the problem immediately before it becomes too huge mm -hmm. even for the coronavirus it yeah. became too huge before no one knew yeah. so this can help at least solve this problem in babies yeah. in the baby healthcare. now I have a question um, and I remember uh, Jeet was talking about that uh, a lot of the mothers cannot be able to maybe they d you don't have the money so who who will buy this device okay so Right now, uh, and as we speak, there's no one who's going to buy the device. So what we're trying to do first is try to uh, 
and take, make the device at least usable in people, for example, in the counties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the counties, they have uh, community health workers. Yes. So we train one of, one, one, one of them mm-hmm. as, a, as, a, as a pilot, mm-hmm. and then they go through, as they, are they, are they, are they, as they do their normal work routine, yeah. they go through, let's say, rural areas, let's mm-hmm. say, in a specific rural area, yeah. they go there, they register babies, mm-hmm. and then they take the measurement. So you're going to work with community uh, foot, yeah. Yeah. footwork? This the, the county, so, yeah. and they're like, so it becomes easy for the product to be used, mm-hmm. and, and, and it's and not also differentiated from the rest, so it becomes a and I'll need it to use for This is the Modern Vibes on Vibes Radio. Shout out to Honorable Mugawi Kunga and Ngekwa Basha and yo, that's a great invention. Hope our government... <laughs> Hope our government uh, will have a political goodwill to make it sail through. And, and that's the thing, by the way. Kenya's a very innovative shit. Like. Yeah, come ex- up with all these so amazing really. creative solutions to yeah. the problems, lo- local problems that we go through. Mm-hmm. I just, you know, I want a government that really takes our solutions yeah, seriously. Yeah, 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 you know, for sure. get, pump resources, uh-huh. give them infrastructure, uh-huh. put all these um, uh, solutions out there, yeah. and you'll see us changing our own lives. Yeah. No, we have the solutions. So in case you're just tuning in, we've got two gentlemen in the studio, Abdi Hamid, Ali Abdi, and Jeet Vilish Gohil. Jeet, don't, don't be mad at me for massacring your name. No, it's fine. Am I doing you good? Um, yeah, thank God. Yay. Um, so they've actually invented this thing called uh, Reweba. Uh, or they've innovated, created this thing called uh, Reweba, and it's helping mothers. And uh, they, they've seen a they've seen a problem, and they've come up with a solution. And these are the kind of young people we like in the, in, the, in the society. So now that you know you've made this, right? Do uh, you guys have a company? Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. We, are, we are a startup basically. We used to be a like a, a, a graduation project, but now we are a startup. Yeah. A startup. yeah. Yeah. What challenges are you facing as a startup? Okay, right now the biggest challenge I, I, I'm facing right now as we speak yeah. is the patenting side of things. Uh-huh. Uh, the keep it, it's really hard for you to find a lawyer. And if you find a lawyer, they'll keep asking you, charging you every even for the sm- small stuff they'll charge you. Remember, we're not fully we're not fully well funded. We're just yeah. a small startup. Yeah. So going through and uh, the technical jargons of and uh, lawyers and yeah. patenting. Yeah. That's a really Huge, yeah, huge it's problems. crazy yeah. and do, do you you know because there they are i've really had some really unscrupulous individuals out there who you know take your idea you think you patented it kumbe they put it under their name yeah <laughs> so that's when i don't know thank you for not telling I'm, me in I'm, advance I'm thank you, you i'm giving you ideas but yeah but but we we are actually trying to find we are actually trying to connect to the people keep people first mm. and then lawyers mm. so that we know actually what's happening because if you go to a lawyer first and you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, you mm. may get ticked. So you're saying that the system at uh, Kipi could be better. Exactly. It's 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 not encouraging for young people who are trying to. At innovate. all, it's not actually at all. Mm. For example, right now there's no online form where I can see the requirements. I have to go to Kipi. Yeah. To Which is so forms. 1921, guys. So. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and there's no help for people who are like startups, especially innovatives. Mm. Yeah. You know, especially innovative. It's actually good for people, let's say big companies, because yeah. it's, it, they have lawyers, they have yeah. lawyers. They know people. It's easy for them. Yeah. It takes them a day or two. What about seed funding? You know, because when you when you hear, I mean, if you hear the the CSO of ICT, if you hear the government the rhetoric is always you know where we're, we're investing in startups where we're making sure that it's easy for young people startups mm. is this true no personally for me i haven't seen any any of that anything of that sort mm-hmm. we have actually applied to a couple in the city mm-hmm. and and there's nothing we actually saw coming forth so we just and you still apply me for funding yeah yeah mm. well like how's the environment though uh, even as a startup uh, when, it, when it comes to infrastructure internet um, you know, bills. Finding, Maybe you guys the, have, finding the equipment. Equipment. Do you guys have like an office? Making it a prototype. No, or you go to each other's houses. No, yeah. actually, f- f- since the good thing with us is since because it's a tech is a tech startup, it is mm. for us just to work from home mm. yeah, and do operation yeah, yeah. from mm. from home. It's much easier for us. Yeah. However, the university USIU has an incubation program whereby they can even provide us with offices. Mm-hmm. But for now, we don't need actually, we don't need that. Mm-hmm. We just we just we just like. The problem and with the NIT product is we have to source some products from outside. Yeah. That's the only problem. Mm. And because there's a chip shortage, as you, as you have had. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh-huh. So finding this and the the, chip, uh, the the device we need mm. can be a very expensive, double the price sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes you can just you, you can just find them. You just have to eat. Who who put this together? Out of the three of you, who who's the one who's like yeah. bring the bring <laughs> the diodes? He's, he's a, a technical. He's yeah. a technical. Um, okay. Jeet is a technical. Jeet, yeah. have you been doing this since you were a child? No, actually, I, it's interesting that you asked because before the web, I didn't really know how yeah. to do this event. So what do you mean? Yeah. Self-taught? Yeah. yeah, I taught myself how to put the wires together, mm. put all the codes Damn. together. Mm. So it was quite difficult, but it was... How long did it take you? 
every so as you see the different sensors mm-hmm. and different things that you have to put t- together yeah. mm-hmm. so you can just go one by one so yeah. it doesn't really take so much time but yeah. you really you still need to learn how when you when you when you're building a very complex system like this yeah i mean you you have to rely on some sort of feedback yeah. you know from somebody who's probably created something similar were yeah. you did you have somebody who you were talking to somebody to guide you through the process so okay for us the good thing is we had our mentor mm-hmm. she's a madam lea mutano she's from usiu she's mm-hmm. a faculty member yeah. oh. so she's the one who was guiding us through mm-hmm. and, and and from then on we just and uh, we also entered many competitions mm-hmm. there's many competitions we went to mm-hmm. so from those competitions we we got mentorship and become better and better and mm-hmm. nice but then the 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 chart of the innovation was not we want to be able, like what was our expertise it is because we wanted to solve a problem mm-hmm. and for us the problem was much was much 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 greater mm-hmm. than the, the solution so yeah. we, we kept on learning mm-hmm. in the vast of youtube as you know yeah and then <laughs> kept on learning and improving mm-hmm. and that's where we are today i love it now as we finish um because i gotta let you go we're running out of time where do you see Roweba, let's say at its peak when it's everything is set actually personally i would want it to not only be available for Kenyans mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, as you know the problem is more uh, relevant even in sub-saharan africa yeah. so we really want to you know our main goal is to reduce the mortality rate mm. for all infants around the world mm. so we we envision it to be used even outside kenya outside africa yeah. even in asia india as you know there are even more infants dying mm. so we really want to spread the hands of freweba and it can Wow. Yeah. So for, so in future when you see a healthy child out there like ah oh, yeah. look at that river yeah. baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank and you. continue, continue any challenges you have if there's any way we can be a part of, you know, making your lives easier mm-hmm. and making Roeba become come to the day, uh, light of day. We truly want to see where this will go. Thank, thank you so you, much for having us, Sheila. Guys, that was on my grind, man. If that hasn't inspired you, I don't know what Positive vibration, positive vibration, positive vibrations on the morning vibes.